Number 14, complete each of the following equations. And then we have this nuclear reaction where we have carbon, capital C, uh, atomic mass of 14 with an atomic number of six. And this is yielding into a nitrogen atom plus something else. So we first have to basically find out what this is. But let's get rid of the question mark. Woohoo! And let's put in our three boxes. So for each notation, we do need to find out what the, the bigger element, or not even the element, but the bigger lettering is. And then we need to know what the top number is and the bottom number. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Great question. We're going to do it uh, separately, right? The first thing and the easiest thing to do is to treat this yield sign as an equal sign because... The numbers on the top that's on the left have to equal the total number of the top numbers on the right. And then the same thing for the bottom numbers. The total bottom numbers on the left have to equal the total bottom numbers on the right. So let's work with the top first. Now on the top, we have a 14 for the carbon on the left side, and this has to equal a 14 plus literally the x value that we're trying to search for here. Now you might know what this number is already, right? 14 equals 14 plus what? But I mean, you could always use, you know, just put out a easy, you know, algebraic expression to solve it. The thing that it would look for here would be 14 equals 14 plus x. Solve for x, right? Subtract 14 from both sides and you get a big fat zero. I like to put my slashes uh, when I'm solving for here, just in case, actually, actually, eh, I don't need to put a slash here. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I guess it depends on the day. But in this case, we're going to put a big fat zero on the top. Now, let's do the same thing for the bottom. Now, all the bottoms on the left have to equal the bottoms on the right. So in this case, we have six, and this has to equal seven plus a number, right? So let's see, we got six equals seven plus x. Solve for x, we would subtract seven on both sides. And six minus seven is a negative one, so x equals a negative one. And that's the number that goes on the bottom. But now, here comes the question, who has this identity? Well, if this was a higher number than one and you had a number on the top, so you need a number on the top and a number greater than zero, um, you could search on the periodic table to find the atom. However, I see that I have a negative one charge, right? What a subatomic particle has a charge of a negative one? Yeah, you got it. It's an electron. Now, electron is known as a E, if you wanted to put an E, or an electron in nuclear chemistry is called a beta particle. So whether you want to put a beta there uh, is fine with me. Whether you want to put an E there, that's fine with me. Maybe we'll do that. And then just know that a zero, negative one beta, is the same as a zero, negative one as an electron. Doesn't matter, you get full credit for both of them. It's a beta particle. You're ejecting out an electron, and that's how carbon changes to nitrogen. And that's the answer for this. So we could just box this off. This is your missing ingredient, and there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for the support. And if you want to additionally support us a little bit more, um, we open memberships up on the channel for this new upcoming school year. Um, so if you want to, you know, you could become a member to the channel. There's four tiers and there's tons of perks. If you want to look for that, you know, that suits your fancy. Uh, thanks so much. And then in return, by you supporting us a little bit more, we help you guys out a little bit more as well. So yeah, I think that's it. So thank you and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.